Three. Hey, we built a wearable speech coach that runs on smart glasses that listens to our conversations and gives us some live insights overlaid on our vision about what, how we're speaking. It tells us things like the percentage of words we say that are filler words, how understandable the words we say are, and the proportion of time that we spend speaking in a conversation. We're gonna talk about a couple things and we'll play with those values and see them go up and down. And what you see on the phone is overlaid on my vision right now. Anyway, Shardol, I wanted to tell you a little story about something that happened over the course of this weekend at the hackathon. Mm -hmm. So you know how you've been complaining every day about your back hurting? Mm -hmm. We actually all thought that it was because you've been twerking so much on your... What, what was that account you have again? Yeah, it's an OnlyFans account. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. anyway, we kind of felt bad because we were making fun of you behind your back, mm -hmm. you know, saying that you were, you know, twerking and you hurt your back and how you were complaining and you should get workers comp or whatever because... You know, it was at it was it was at work, but I that I then found out you'd actually I guess been hit by a car. That's true. And and nearly paralyzed. It was pretty bad. Yeah. But you were also I, talking a lot throughout the weekend, so yeah. I couldn't say much. I couldn't mm -hmm. interject. Yeah, I, I wonder. I do how enjoy that portions changing up. Yeah, I I like speaking way. more than you. Yeah. And interrupting you when you get yeah? when you start talking. I see. Yeah. Has has that gone up? It has indeed. It's now at ninety percent. I'm gonna try to bring that down. Much. I'm gonna try to bring that down now. I'm gonna shut Kaden up. I'm going to speak a lot, and then that proportion is going to come down Oof. like his ego. I don't like this. Yeah. You don't like it? So I'm going to talk a little bit about Forrest. Forrest reminds me of a cat I spent a lot of time with back when I was in Singapore. His name was Mooncake. Mooncake was browner than Forrest, but, you know, both of them look very similar. They have similar behaviors. Both of them are nice. Has that number come down yet? Yeah, it's, it's been coming down, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, I didn't really like being interrupted there, but, uh, you know, it kind of feels like a, a hit to my confidence, I guess, and, um, like, I don't really know how to express myself, but mm -hmm. it's kind of um, not really cool, and, like, I feel kind of, like, disrespected. I kind of feel like, I don't know, Forrest is um, kind of a cat, and you're, like, an asshole, and so I don't really know, like, what else to say here okay it's kind of um hurtful to me to like be treated this way yeah and anyway we were talking about some different concepts and i wanted to explain to you an idea that i had mm -hmm. about wait how has that filler words value changed the filler words value went up okay that's good because yeah. i was feeling a lack of confidence. Yeah, because I shot your confidence down. And I use a lot of filler words All because right. you shot my confidence down. All right, let's try to bring that down. Now, to finish things up, uh -huh. I'd like to explain to you how the system's actually working. So, there's a microphone in the phone. It could be in the glasses, or it could be in the phone that you're holding. And that microphone captures audio, it transcribes the audio, and then it sends it to a backend, which is a computer that receives all of the information, and it streams it to GPT. And then GPT tries to figure out if what I'm saying makes any sense. And if what I'm saying is coherent and hits every point, and somebody who's listening to me could understand what I'm saying, then it will give me a higher understandability score. And finally, that information is then sent back to the phone and from the phone to the glasses, which I'm wearing on my head. And all the information you see on the phone is overlaid on my vision with these music Z100s. But then if I started not really making any sense, mm -hmm. kind of having like a lot of conditionals, which are one thing and then the next thing and then something else, and I'm just jumping around, mm -hmm. you don't really know what I mean, mm -hmm. then it's kind of, it's not something you can follow. Say five random words. I don't know, cat, dog, bathtub, supermodel or something. 10 if, more. If it's a uh, pillow, sock, monitor, laptop, San Francisco, Alex. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> think, you know, if, he, if what I'm saying doesn't make any sense, <laughs> guess what time it is. <laughs> then the understandability score goes down. And hopefully you could use this in a meeting. You could use this when you're hanging out with your friends. You could use this when you're giving a talk. To... It'd be cool if you could use the verbal cues of the person who's your audience to see how they're responding. Indeed. Obviously, with their consent. And hopefully, improve your communication skills with... Speech coach. Wearable speech coach.
Woo! <laughs> Convo scope. Buying <laughs> Only $39.99 a month. Plus $900 glasses. Straight from us, the source, because we make the glasses. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone, and stay safe.